I could probably go to get away without this now. Oh, I was going to walk towards you. Is that what you want or not? So I'm meeting my friend Ian Stone from Posh Photography today to have a chat about real weddings. Yeah, I'm back in Palm Cove. Con and I, today we're going to talk about unplugged weddings. Hey, Ian Posh Photography, how are you? Here I am today in the gorgeous Palm Cove, one of the most beautiful places in our country for a wedding, especially a destination wedding. I'm here with my mate Colin from Mod Videos, and we're going to talk to you today about a whole lot of things. When I was a little boy, this is the camera my dad had, and I used to start to steal it off him and play with it and learn how to use it. And uh, my love of photography has not stopped. I've yeah. been taking pictures almost every day for the last 30 years. I'm seeing these great angles now. I want to take a picture of this and that. All I need is a bride. Oh, yeah. I think there's I a bride it. behind us. <laughs> there's a bride in the chapel. I might just go crash her wedding. You might, <laughs> you might be, we might be lucky and actually see a bride walking into the chapel. Yeah. In the background. Keep so, your eyes out. If you see her, just give us a yell, yeah. will you? <laughs> Let us know. Yeah. So, tell us a bit more about your, like, when you started weddings. I've been a wedding photographer, Cole, for many, many years now. I was five years in Sydney at a studio there in Melbourne. Moved it to Cairns over uh -huh. 10 years ago. So yeah. um, I'd be uh, certainly one of the, the oldest and most experienced wedding photographers in the region. And I've done uh, well over 1,200 weddings. I love everyone. Well over 1,200 weddings. There's more photographers around than there ever was 10 years ago. Yeah, oh, well, that, that's true. Digital photography is certainly um, uh, made it uh, easier for a lot of people to get into it, but you still it doesn't matter about the gear, you know, old and clunky like this, you know, brand new latest gear, which some of the photographers love, it's still up here. And videographers. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a gadget man. Cole, Cole likes his, his gear. He's got good <laughs> gear. I like it. Yeah, I like. If my camera's two years old, it's old. Yeah. I'll get a new one. Things did change about uh, five, six years ago when when we started shooting with SLR. Yes, correct. Now, before that, when we did a wedding big together, clunkers. you had the I big had, camera. That's right. Yeah. And there was a distinction between video and photography. Yeah. Yeah? You yeah. remember that? If I, if I was walking around a wedding, they knew I was video. Yeah. Since we went to the SLRs, which the 5D Mark II, Canon, yeah. changed They it changed all. everything, yeah, the Canon. When thing. I walked around, it was very hard for people to, to, to work out if I was a photographer or a videographer. Yeah. But it also, it impacted on photographers because people would start looking at our cameras more when you were taking photos of the family. Yeah, yes, yeah. normally they don't look at you, they look at me. But I know that I'm going to be the best place, people are going to be looking at me. I'll have the photo set up, so it's all good. It's never bothered me. Yeah. Yeah, get in there. And this instant gratification that's come about in the last few years of getting photos. Phones and things. Yeah, well, having photos straight up on Facebook. Yeah, you know, I like the idea. I actually want to, and am offering that to couples now, that I'll actually be Instagramming their wedding as we go along, if that's what they want. Uh, I would like them to ask their guests not to get their phones and tablets out during the ceremony, because they kind of do two things. One is they get in the way of the professional, and the other is that they're not actually engaged, they're not actually watching their, their friends, their daughters, you know, their, their cousin's wedding. I'd much rather they put them down, because I'm going to get the good shots for the couple, and watch it, listen yeah. to it, unplug. That's, so that, that's I love it. That's a term that's come out recently, and that's where you ask your guests to leave their cameras and their phones at home, yeah. or or not get them out. Yeah. And let the professionals capture it. The other thing about experience, being a bit older in the weddings, is the way we deal with couples. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, um, one of the things that you're great at, and this this is an unashamable plug for Ian, is he deals really well with the grooms who most of the time are not into their photos they want to get changed they want to put a ring on your finger and they want to drink yeah <laughs> um, but getting them to open up for photos is, is quite hard where well, Ian does a really good job of that thanks Colin uh, I think it's because I'm a people person uh, I uh, I do obviously get on well for bride as well that's a given but I mean, I just understand where the guy's coming from. But uh, it's not always easy getting a photo taken. Now watch his face when I do this. <laughs> no photos, no photos. I'm a bit the same when I'm on the other side. So I just get a rapport with the guys. Um, I want the wedding photo shoots to be a lot of fun and I want your wedding to be the best day of your life. So 
by getting to know the guy, whether he's a blokey bloke or whether he's not, it doesn't matter. I like to get to know the guys, I want them to have fun, and it works. A wedding day is not about the photos, it's not about the video, nope. it's about no, the couple about getting the couple. married. Yeah. And it's their day, and you're not there to to cause, you know, to make it about you. No, absolutely and not. So you do stand around just watching people and taking photos and yeah. not, not getting in the way. Yeah, oh, often people, certainly in the ceremonies, uh, comment after that they didn't even notice I was there. Yeah. And to me, that's actually a compliment because I know I got the shots, there they are, but they weren't aware of you know, me milling around and discreetly getting the best shots.